it's Martin Cole here doing another review on the play arts action figures Harley Quinn from Batman Arkham Asylum. So actually, let's have a look at the box while we get a first chance. As you can see, you've got a picture of Harley on the right side and the city of Arkham on the left. Okay, let's open her up and have a look. I just noticed we have a red city in the background on the back of the box. Harley's scepter, Harley's spare hand, well I don't want to get out because it's a small piece and could lose it. We have Scarface, Scarface, what well, looks like Joker, and let's get Harley out. actually bought for someone, a female who I know, so before anyone says. Put Harley Scepter in her hand. I might stand her up a bit more. Oh god. Or oh, maybe not. Right, articulation wise, let's stand Scarface next to her. Me. I apologise on that, people. Right, articulation. Head moves up, side to side, with a bit of work. Her hair's got articulation. Just realised. <laughs> Arms, articulation, can move really out because of shoulder joints. Up and down, hands can move. You can just about see that. With the arm hand joint. Same with the other side. Body has a quite a movement. Legs can move higher with the knee joints. Her feet can move up and down. Art wise, paint work really, really good. You've got the red, the purple, her uh, nurse's outfit from the game. Really good paint work. Same with her scepter, a like crystal top, really good paint work. And Scarface. Articulation on Scarface's arms are really stiff, but he is meant to be on Harley's arm, hand, head, really good articulation, legs are really a good articulation as well, and that's Harley.